what do you say when people ask, what do you do? Do you tell them from now on? Don't tell them. Explanations are infobesity. So let me put you in the scene of what I mean. I had an opportunity to speak about this at Inc. 500. And so we are working on everyone's elevator speech. And of course, who likes to listen to a speech? So we're transforming an elevator speech into an elevator conversation. So here's Colleen, Entrepreneur of the Year for, for Oklahoma. I said, Colleen, what do you do? Wah, 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 wah. At the end of 60 seconds, no one in the room had any idea what she did. And she was the CEO. Now think of the lost opportunity cost. These are the top entrepreneurs in the country. They're not going to walk up to her in the hall and propose some type of partnership or continue the conversation because they don't know what she does. So I said, Colleen, tell me what you do that we can see, that we can smell, that we can taste, that we can touch. And she said something about MRIs and CAT scans. And I said, oh, do you run the medical facilities that offer MRIs and CAT scans? She said, yes. I said, don't tell people that. She said, don't tell people that. Because if people ask, what do you do? And you say, I run the medical facilities that offer MRIs and CAT scans. What do they say? Oh, conversation over. We don't want to end the conversation. We want to open the conversation. So I said, ask a three-part question. Do you know anyone, could be yourself, could be a friend, could be a family member who's had an MRI or a CAT scan? She said, Sam, what's this about a three-part conversation? I said, because there's something called the evolution of intimacy. And if we just walk up to someone or being introduced to someone and we say, do you, have you ever had an MRI? See, that's way too abrupt. It's back, 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 way too personal. We're violating the evolution of intimacy. Do you see how when we give people options, do you know anyone, could be yourself, could be someone at work, could be a family member, we're giving them options. Look who's in control of the conversation at this point. They are because they get to go where they want. And we are increasing the likelihood that they know someone who has experienced what we do, who is familiar with what we do, who has benefited from what we do. So do you know anyone, could be yourself, a friend or family member who has had an MRI or CAT scan? And we put a sock in it. We listen to what they say. They may say, oh yeah, my I haven't had one, but my daughter hurt her knee playing soccer. She's had one. Now we link what we do to what they just said. Oh, I run the medical facilities that offer MRIs and CAT scans like the one your daughter had, you know, when she hurt her knee playing soccer. Look what happens. Oh, the eyebrows go up. I get it. I relate to it. <laughs> I'm, um, I know someone who's benefited from it all in 60 seconds, all in a dialogue instead of a monologue. 